mind. Anything he says, I'll back it. No, 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 no. Most times. I'll be real. Well, if I said that and you backed that, I wouldn't rate you. Calm. No, but speaking so of... Nice swear. <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah, he's he sure. You are what you eat. But what's the <laughs> meat to do? <laughs> but I think it did separate me from a lot of people in my state. I can't lie. Swear? Mm. I don't think I was like in in the the mandem group like that in the estate because of that i'm still very very cool with everyone i'm still but it's surface level friendships uh, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. yeah alhamdulillah. i'll be real like, a lot of them are certain places but yeah man just goes on right. what are you saying man how you doing what a way to start the episode i'm doing great tired <laughs> no 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 i'm calm energetic i got my uh, lucasaid i got my lucasaid who picks lucasaid out of every well, drink because i thought i was feeling a bit fatigued didn't it from yeah. doing nothing all but day. no no do you know it's lucasaid i don't mind but lucasaid sport no, 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 back this, in the day when my, I was a uh, football drink. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's a five yeah, or six. Yeah, six, six seven days. You know, you know the broke times. 49p. The, yeah, the 49p boost. Yeah, they do the job. I bought more. it today because I'm sitting in broke times. But Citrus fruit. <laughs> yeah, bro. That's the job, man. Now, the orange, the orange one, yeah? What? Of that. Lucasoid. That one, yeah. The, no, but the sport version. I have, is there an orange one? Yeah. That's the main one, fam. What's this? Raspberry? Yeah. It's what? dead, you I can't lie. <laughs> yeah, why I did you choose that? I was going to say, why did you choose that I one? was feeling, um, exper I wanted to experiment Courageous today. in oh, that. Yeah, yeah. I was feeling very courageous. Right. Yeah, and I got done dirty, but that, you take... I had the orange thing. version yesterday after years. My sister randomly had it. She's like, do you want one? I was like, yeah. Like, where did this come from? She's like, yeah, I just... I was like, all right, cool. Yeah, they sponsor a lot of uh, football teams and that. Or like, YouTube, uh, football YouTube as well. Oh, do you guys, do you guys, sponsor yeah, sponsor uh, him yeah. soon. Do you do football videos? You don't? Nah. Are I tried to football? switch onto that because I'm seeing bare men that do the football stuff. They mm. get invited to these like football events and stuff. And I've like, I kickball as well. Are you big into it? Nah, I'm not, I don't really watch football or anything, but really? I've always been playing football. Oh. If Darum were here, he'd be giving them the. <laughs> nah, he plays it. Oh, oh do no, they, they not like footballers? No, nah, nah, they said if he doesn't watch football. Yeah. If a guy doesn't watch football, it's that's the it. It can give them Oh, no, nah, I don't watch football. I thought, I no, only watch do highlights, I, neither do I. <laughs> yeah, I only watch highlights, bro. I but, didn't even watch that. But you, like, do you get sad when Arsenal don't win? No, nah, I don't care. Oh. Who do you support? I Arsenal. I like Arsenal. Six. I wish I was like that, man. Yeah. I'm too. What, who do you support? United. <laughs> he sounded so happy to say <laughs> that, bro. Man United. Yeah, it's, uh, it's rough times right now, man. There's a beauty about football. Like, someone could be watching this in like two years' time and we could be winning the league right now. It's good conditioning for mental health, isn't it? Wallah, it's not. It's not. <laughs> no. Nah, it's gonna watch in three years' time. You're gonna be very strong-headed. <sighs> I don't know. I man. think. I said, well, I it's not. <laughs> well, like, bro, it puts you through something, bro. I've literally like told friends or like people that I'm with or like family. If Man United have had a big defeat, I told them like, please ex excuse my mood oh, you for the next. Ones? Yeah, yeah. I told oh. them excuse my mood. I'll be real, bro. Like, I don't think people realize that when you're into football, I don't think people realize how much of an effect it has on you. And the worst thing is when girls try to be like all funny and like, oh, you, your team is shit. Your team is shit. What? Well, my life, I'll block you if you keep it up. Well, I'll take it with me. Like, I'll take it tough. I'm no, good. my brother's like that. I can't lie. Yeah, the mood will switch. The, bro, Before the game, does. the 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 tempo in the house is is high. It's nice. Yeah, it's good. There's good um, there's good atmosphere in yeah. the house. Energy. Chelsea Energy. loses. Yeah, long day for everyone. Yeah, I yeah, swear yeah. The, the house goes a bit darker as well. It's weird. Bro. <laughs> you say <a> banging. <laughs> <laughs> in rhythm as well. That's nuts. I was gonna say, do you guys like um speaking of drinks? Do you guys like it when you have a lot of uh, options? In nah, in life I in don't general. like too much options, man. I, don't I like love it. I get very excited, bro. Really? Yeah. In nah. life, I, yeah. I always, I feel, yeah, I always feel like a little kid when there's better options. Really? Yeah, it excites me. Nah, but spoiled. it's human nature. What's the really? what's it called? Paradox of choice. Or I don't like know, that. but it bro. excites me. Yeah, you studied so the dictionary again today. Like <laughs> yeah. Last time. Is that why you wanted thing. to redo the episode? Yeah. Learn more words and come yeah, back. Yeah, say nothing. Take me out like Yeah, that. sorry about that, by the uh, way, guys. Didn't it? <laughs> oh, uh, you're not allowed to bring that up? No, no, no. You can't oh, bring so, it up. Sorry, guys. We take that back. We're just Technical difficulties, but we're back. Yeah, we're back. Um... I think it's, I don't know, I could be waffling still, but it's basically when there's too much choice. I don't like too much choice. I don't like too much Even choice. Even when it's food and that. Yeah. Oh, Shout out Cheesecake Factory. You man are indecisive. Uh, not, not very alpha, man. <laughs> <laughs> so no, you're gonna uh, a real man knows what he wants. A real man knows what he wants. Yeah, that's true. No, that's I'm true. joking. It's, I'll still book a be indecisive, innit? Yeah. But it's just more exciting. I don't know why. A random yeah. question, yeah? Would you man uh, think of steak? Do you, look, do you look like steaks? Yeah. 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 But do you know what? I don't order Only it that in much. Algeria. I swear. Yeah. You catch a flight just to eat a steak? Nah, I catch a flight no, to joking, see I'm my granddad, didn't it? <laughs> I'm chatting, bro. I'm chatting. <laughs> what, what do you, do you call granddad? Like what do what? What do you call granddad in your language? In your uh, language? I say Sidi, innit? That means my lord. Sidi, no way. Jeez. That's, That's a nice one, you know? <laughs> do you know about CD. that? Yeah. Do you eat steak? Well, steak, I'll pick for my Sidi. No, it was. Nah, steak, <laughs> he yeah, diverted back. I don't like the people that eat it, like medium rare and that, but have your food cooked. Oh, oh like you that. like it? Well, well done. Well done. Medium for me. Medium for me is solid, though. I'll be real. Rare's heartbeat. Rare can't be done for me. Mm, no, but medium, I'll do. Yeah. 
I'm, I can't lie, I'm one of them yeah, people. That I've always yeah. judged it, innit? I've always judged like the the medium rare or like any anything pinky. Mm. But I've never actually tried it. No, I'll be real. I, I was like that as well, and then I got medium once, and then um, what's the other medium? There's medium, medium well. rare, medium well. I I think I get that one. Medium, medium well. well. Yeah. See, yeah. that's the thing. That's a bit too uh, barbaric for me. That's that. Like, <laughs> like all of that, bro. Oh, I ain't trying to do all of that. Yeah. 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 I'm yeah, trying to, but no, no. Then. When you get it with the sauces and all that stuff, it it calms it relaxes. Down. Yeah, it relaxes. <laughs> it chills out. So it calms it down. It's dead, you know, bro. you know what I'm saying. It's not calms it down, but like it makes yeah. it easier to eat. You get I me? don't know, bro. I think I think I've always appreciate told them really a good medium steak, rare. Shout out to yeah. Do you know? Do, do you know what's nice about steak? Don't even need seasonings like that, bro. Just salt and pepper. Yeah. Don't know about that one. Yeah. Do steak you? don't need seasoning, bro. I've never made a steak. So you could not even put. You can slap salt on a steak and it's literally. Yeah, literally. Just a bit of salt, pepper, bomb. The the sauces are all like okay. This sauces in that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, mushroom sauce. Can Mushroom, you cook, yeah. bro? Random question. Yeah. How, learned, uh, how good are you your cooking out of 10? Beta. Reckon? My cooking my cooking versatility is probably like a 5 out of 10. Massive but the stuff that I can cook yeah. is like a 9 out of 10. Oh, like, like, it's yeah. like I can't cook bare stuff. Mm. I probably got like six dishes seven dishes that i can cook yeah yeah but like i can cook them well innit? let me let me see Go on, what's the list what does okay. the list consist of we've got the first thing is the uh, the amazon seafood special yeah we've Oof. got the prawns we've got the tagliatelle spinach oh. tomato mushrooms um garlic onions obviously standard you're capping and you can't do all of that no no, no. <laughs> that's lit it's well like, it's exciting fam you can do that I mean, you just chop it off and dash it in the saucepan, isn't it? That's, That's it. it. Dash it in the saucepan. Yeah. This guy's brilliant. It's like I, I found hacks for cooking. Sorry about that. The influencer lifestyle. Sorry, no, no, no. It's TikTok it's brother, lifestyle. Brother, it's it's catch it up. Partnerships and sponsorships. Yeah, right yeah too many, brother. Hashtag relax. ad. Um, what's it called? What was I saying? I feel like I found hacks for making like bougie looking dishes, but very simple, isn't it? Mm. I've what, got TikTok? another one. You know the you know the egg noodles. Yeah. Like the the ones that you don't even need to slap in the water, you just dash it in a frying pan. Mm, mm. I can make one of those dishes. Those you ones. just get chicken breast, um, obviously uh, season whatever the onion, garlic. What else do I add? Some other sauces and stuff. But mm. it literally takes like ten minutes to cook everything, mm. and you have like two meals ready. I have to. This guy, when right? are you co- like? But since no, I've I'm been saying. home, I have not been cooking. Oh, okay, let me say the that. Then. I was gonna say kitchen. when's the uh, obviously yeah. we're two year anniversary. When that you know what I'm saying? Oh no, I, I won't cook for you. Uh, I'll treat you, man. We need a little uh, bit of celebration. You're talking about steaks, isn't it? Nah, I'm joking. My man, Salt Bay's restaurant in Nightingale. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, say nothing. <laughs> yeah, you know it's cheaper yeah. to go to Turkey. What's it called? Oh yeah, um, it's cheaper new collaboration. I'll shout you, man. For what's it? What's his restaurant called? Nusret. Nusret. Salt Bay. Nusret. Yeah, Salt Bay. You know we? Uh, he's coming. He's coming soon. Yeah, I swear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should have done DM'd that for them. your. He's just, just gonna sit there, not say anything, and just do that. The whole <laughs> no, have you seen his videos? They're kind of funny, still. So. Oh, yeah, I saw him in it, like in person, what, of yeah, him yeah, caressing yeah. dead animals. No, no, there's one where he was sitting down. What did they ask him? What do you think of London? He's like London, I own something like that. He's moving nuts. Oh, he's kind of trying to come like Ibrahimovic, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was he was moving like one of those man. Now, but I think it's a persona. Like he's doing it on purpose. Yeah, of course. Yeah. But he's like five foot one. Oh, but speaking so of nice, swear. <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah, he's, he's very short. short. He's when I saw him, he's very short. Bro. Yeah, yeah. So he's like, I think Walla, I think you could lift him. Yeah, armpit thing, yeah, yeah. Simba. Kevin Hart short. No, bro, Kevin Hart is short, short though. I heard. Oh, Kevin Hart short. Yeah, yeah, yeah Kevin Hart short. I think. Yeah, how yeah, short yeah, is yeah, he? Yeah, yeah, I think he's Kevin Hart short. He must be like five. I think the ponytail takes him a bit five over. Five. Isn't <laughs> no. it weird that when there's short people, we say how short are they, and when there's people that are average height, you say how tall are they? That's true. But oh, let me ask, let me ask you something nuts. When does it become average? Yeah, at what at what at height? What, at what what, height? At what I think for so a, what? About to be short, <laughs> I think short. for a girl, an average height is like what five six, five seven. It depends what country you're in. I think mm. in the UK, because like some countries, the people there are like just short. That like Philippines, and, like yeah, four, some other countries, four foot two, bro, yeah. something, bro. <laughs> no, relax, relax. <laughs> <laughs> I Filipinos are the best people on the planet, you know, they're so nice. Oh, you just like, you're I've, nev- man. <laughs> I've never met a rude Filipino. Never. I oh. heard they, the girls there finesse bear man though for visas and that. No, that's not Filipino. I think that's Thailand, bro. I've, I've, I don't know what I w- Philippines. I go to Dubai. Every, every like all, all the people who usually work in customer services in Dubai are Filipino because of how good they are customer service. Oh, okay, how okay. nice they are. Yeah, yeah. Salamat po, all my Filipinos. You ever been to the Philippines? Yeah, I Manila, haven't, haven't. been a couple times. He's capping. What was Manila saying? God. Manila's nice. Yeah, yeah man. Now nah, I want to though. Uh, I've been Bali though. Oh, sick. Come on, bro. This, this is uh, no. This is fact. real. This is actual real. The same. Yeah, this oh, is right. factual. <laughs> oh, yeah, but speaking of Knightsbridge, um, as you don't take your little drinks break. Speaking of Knightsbridge, I was at like, four yeah. conversations ago. Trust me, I'm bringing it back. I tried Kuwaiti food for the first time a few weeks ago in Knightsbridge, and it was actually banging. Mm. I I underestimated it. I thought it was going to be dead. Would you have meat on that? Just uh, biryani, their version. But what, Kuwaiti what? biryani. Yeah, uh, lamb. I think. Yeah. See, I don't. I don't mess with that. 
Nah, but bro, bro, it was very nice. I don't mess like with. Like I would go back and try it again. I only mess and with. And some yogurt um, thing. Chicken and beef. That's it. Okay. What would you What do you think of it? Sheep lamb. What? Do. Kuwaiti biryani. Have you ever had it? Nah. It's pink. I never had Kuwaiti food in general, to be honest. I thought it you just been Kuwait. Like they, they I've been Kuwait, them. but I don't have Kuwaiti food. Oh, when right. I go to Kuwait, I get McDonald's, KFC. Well, you eat out all the time. Yes, hundred percent. But this was back in the day when nothing was halal here. Oh, okay, that makes. So sense. Every, everything over there is halal. I was, and and they had delivery then. But here they didn't had no delivery options. Over there you can get McDonald's delivered, KFC delivered, everything delivered. Kuwait is nice, bro, but it's the most obese nation in the world. Yeah, you were telling me. So I didn't so believe that at first. Very, the very so obese, bro. Like the, the place loses its mind if like a, a, sh- a shop closes down or something. What the hell, bro? Yeah, it's nuts. Yeah, Here but no, nah, it was man. very nice, man. I'd recommend you all try it. What, what Kuwait food? It's called? Yeah, I forgot the name of the place. Long. But, uh, <laughs> it was opposite Harrods. All I'll right, be wrong. Shop I'm comfy. Harrods, uh, sponsor H squared. Trust me. <laughs> I'm comfy with uh, Fingy and that, man. What's that? KFC and that? KFC. Oh, apparently, I don't know if you man have heard this or if, if it's an ethnic thing, yeah. but apparently eating red meat makes you more manly. Oh, or it's it. a more manly trait. <laughs> Love it, bro. No, no, no. Really, bro? look into this. Please, L- look into this, yeah? My mum has always told me, yeah? So, anything you say is about my mum, by the way, so mind what you what you. Shout out, auntie, bro. Shout out, auntie. No, no, no. But she's yeah, always said, like, <laughs> like, red meat, yani, you have to eat like a... Sir Zalame, like a Rajal, you have to, to to become a man, you have to eat red meat because apparently, I don't know, like the iron or some shit in it. And um, apparently, if a woman eats too much, too much red meat, she's and not enough white and not enough white meat or something, <laughs> she develops a lot of like manly traits. What? Masculinity. Masculine traits. Well, I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna have to look into science. Yeah, honestly look into it. What I, say. I might during the podcast if we, uh, if you man get into like a debate or something and I'm on the side, I might just Google it quickly. I've never heard that, but that does make sense. It, I think it does. You are what you eat. But what's the <laughs> meat what to do with <laughs> <laughs> it? Was, he thought he'd done something there. <laughs> it's close. I said, you are, so what am I, a goat? <laughs> this guy never backs it. You know how friends I normally back it? I said, you are what you eat. So what am I, red he, meat? You should. That made no sense, me. G. You should have said, yeah, Hader, you're right. Because yeah. if you... I was back in your mum's You're able to waffle your way through so all these interviews. Dumb. And then when it comes to just... Trust me. Bro, but yeah. that's anything coming from says, my mind. Anything he says, I'll back it. No, no, no. no. Most times. I'll be real. Well, if I said that and you backed that, I wouldn't rate you. Come from now. <laughs> hey, hey, you literally the, said the. <laughs> I wouldn't really. From, for the rest of this episode, yeah. Anything he's got to say, just stick on him. Yeah. Say no more. That's nah, what I'm That's what I'm doing now. Nah, nah, are you violating like that? I'm speaking are you violating like that? <laughs> Ali, are you entertaining him, bro? I'm a goat, but I don't eat goats. Anyways. Go on, say something. <laughs> he bro, can't. He's not quick enough. <laughs> bro, bro. Anyway. You're saying about being quick, I just nothing to say, bro. Uh, yeah, okay, you know, sometimes enough. you just let them have their moment. Yeah, oh, it's he's not quick enough. Have it, have he's it. taking you for a child. Have it. Quick enough. Have it. Quick enough. You basically said you're one of them kids that just come up, show you the dead drawing, and then Trust you just me. have to tell them to what, go on. What, the just thumbs put up. it on the fridge and don't even look at it. Yeah. Enough. Anyways. <laughs> but anyways. Um, yeah, man. Speaking on that. Um, alpha. Yeah. Speaking on the, the red meat um, <laughs> syndrome. Does eating red meat make you an alpha male? Yeah, that is uh, today's topic. No, nah, yeah. thing. I think it does. I think it does. Um, to a certain extent, I think it gives you. <clears throat> Wait, what is an alpha male? Imagine an alpha male who only eats fish. I think that's possible. Well, veg- imagine or a imagine vegan. vegan. <laughs> imagine a vegan alpha male. Oh, I'm vegan. There's not. I'm only having lettuce. <laughs> yeah. Huh? Imagine. No, nah, that's long. No, no. But for real, what's your definition of alpha grilled? Uh, have you seen it? Their their replacement for steak. Where? It's watermelon. Grilled watermelon. Say wallah. Yeah, okay. wallah. They'll do. They'll oh, bro. It make. It, they make it look red. like a steak. Yeah, they make it look like a steak, and then they open it and cut it up, and it's a watermelon. Nah, I nah they're that. all just stunting for social. That's bro. so. Oh, bad. do you don't remember what? that craze? Sorry, bro. Do you don't remember that craze years ago? That no, no, not even years ago. Last year, where everything was cake. Yeah. And where everything yeah. was oh, just cake. Was when they it, cut into where, it? Where they slice yeah. stuff. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. And it looked so real. Like it looked like. I a, used to find those videos bare fun because it would be like, oh, is this cake or is it not cake? Yeah, yeah. It'll be like an iPhone or something. Trust me, that's a phone. Yeah. And then they'll just slice through and start munching. Bro, those people have time. That that. Bakery in general, bakery in general popped during COVID. Uh, Everyone yeah. had bare time and suddenly man are making cheesecake, bake man are making by, apple pies. Bake by, bake by. Yeah, bake by just started booming. Yeah, yeah, bake by Hader, me. sure. I don't know why I said Did that. Did you actually do that? do that? Huh? Hmm. Did you have a bacon? Yeah, man, I started making like cookies and s- dripping strawberries and chocolate and that. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. Support his business. He sponsored us. Man. I'm chatting. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah, so yeah. disappointing. Yeah, there's a running joke on... Coming soon. There's a running joke on nine. Is it not tired? Hmm? There's a running joke. Is it not tired? <laughs> he likes it. He likes it. I can bro, tell. I'm just gonna sit here for three and a half minutes. You don't mind if I sit? Here? <laughs> no, I can't. Uh, bro, I'll be real with you. I think dad jokes are the funniest jokes in the world, bro. Nah, it depends on bro. who says them, though. Yeah. I can't lie. You know, if your pops, imagine you're all with your friends and your pops drop that and he looks at you. <laughs> he looks at you like that. You have to. You have I to can't fuck it. Dying. Is it not <laughs> tired? <laughs> 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 Alia, I don't even know what to and say. And he looks at you. 
I don't even know what to say. Ali, see today, bro. I don't have the energy for it today, bro. Oh. I said there was a running joke if I if you allow me to finish it. Yeah, 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 yeah. there was a running joke, um, like, oh, girls dip one strawberry into a chocolate and call it baked by Aisha or whatever. Yeah, and yeah, let them do their thing. Looked like to, yeah, it happened by. last year. For a lot of people, tea time with. Tea time with. Tea time with. Have you not thought of her name for yours by the way? Yet? Nah, not yet. When's what your second it? episode? Ah, uh, it had to get cancelled. I swear. Yeah. We get into the details after. Yeah, we'll okay, talk about after. Cool, cool, cool. The political peak. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Yeah. That's not an idea. But yeah, Heda, what were you saying? Uh, I was going to say, what is your, and you, of course, and you as well, why not, uh, personal definition of an alpha male? W- well, like, when you hear the uh, term alpha, would you... I'll be real, yeah. I think there's two different def- different definitions. Are we going to talk... Let's start with modern day definition. Okay, cool. Because I think that differs to olden day definition. Yeah, say nothing. Modern day definition of an alpha... Um, or not definition characteristics can we say that wealthy hmm? wealthy wealthy okay this is an order by the way I'm just naming shit wealthy um, can it be features like yeah so you features? can you can do it as, e- as, e- as either as physical mm. or like attributes. both yeah yeah so wealthy tall ish mm. doesn't have to be oh, tall tall wealthy tall ish um, uh, confident Confident, assertive, um, able to make very quick decisions. No, I wouldn't say quick, rational. but rational. Rational. Here for the words. My brother, backup vocal. Love rational it. decisions, able to think without emotion. Mm-hmm. I think that's a big one. And um, that's a very good one. Mm. I like that, what you just said. Yeah, able to put emotions aside still. And um, inclusive. Okay. Yeah. What do you mean by inclusive? Like, able, is that a word? That's a word. That's a word. Yeah. Able to bring in, like, like, le- like almost like being like a leader. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hundred percent. Able to, able to lead. What would you say? What for modern day or what? Yeah, I, modern. I, Let's I, just stick to modern day for now. And has a lot of followers. Modern day is basically <laughs> the same as what um, uh, Big Nucci, Hussein, Hussein. Yeah. Forget Big my Nucci's name again. Wallah, walk out. Last, oh. Oh, oh, do you not say your actual names on the podcast? No, no, I do. I'm like Big Nucci. Um, same as what you said, but I feel like the modern day definition as well. It has some bad characteristics like uh what's it called some toxicity mm-hmm. you know rudeness arrogance mm-hmm. i feel like that's that comes under the modern day definitions but obviously that's yeah. that's not that's not how i would define what it. about like back in the day would you reckon it was to be an alpha um like able to fight okay like Wait, when you say back in the day do you mean like what, all right let's see yeah, like no no, no i'm talking like uh, i'm talking when they're discovering stones and that <laughs> oh you're going that far back <laughs> i'm going like stone age oh, okay, like okay, fire okay, okay. spear accuracy <laughs> yeah <laughs> like they're, whoa, 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 they're talking Trust like that me. still I said, whoa, strength whoa. um look at the strength yeah strength fighting like fighting um hunting skills lead yeah to lead um whether i don't know how Leading is though I'll be real I don't know Wealth as well do Wealth think? is always important fam. I don't think it was that important It's, it's though. because with wealth Comes security People like People like security That's true But Let's say a don Who's just wealthy And then the strong don Just came and fucked him up now Yeah, yeah You need to, to What's it called To be Balance. an alpha You need a combination of best You can't just have one or two Yeah Of the characteristics And you're like yeah You can't just be one tall you And be like yeah Man's alpha, <laughs> man's alpha. <laughs> And then you just get smoked bro. That's true Donnie comes and just fucks up your life in front of your your missus. It would be unfortunate. Um, but I don't know, bro. Like, from from back in them days to mm, now, mm. how many... Okay, name name some that apply both. From back then and now. Mm, I'd like still say the, wealth. The wealthy thing, yeah. You guys think wealth? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. okay. wealth them times was what sheep. Uh, cows and sheep. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. now camels. it's just peas. Yeah, yeah. yeah and camels, sure. whatever. And assets, properties and that. Uh, what else? Land. I'll definitely say like your physical attributes as in like being you know big tall and mm. that yeah mm. having muscles in that I think that that plays into it uh, I'm trying to think what else would also tie into both tie into both is hard mm, leadership of course yeah I would definitely say being a leader mm. uh, being a natural born leader or not even natural born but having the ability to lead what else let man? me ask you confidence this, yeah. in general as well oh uh, yeah do you think being um, having a high level, high level of empathy and sympathy is a beta trait. Nah. Be honest. No. Nah. N- not, not if you're literally asking a yes or no, then mm. I would say no. But too much of, you know, being the soft guy mm. can make even not just, n- not just girls look at you as like a, like a wet wipe, but mm. man them can 
like right my man's always just he's always just bare nice he like he can be stepped all over he he'll just mm. t- he'll accept everything and anything like there's no there's no there's no line for this guy like i can say anything to him and he'll yeah to that level be, yeah i ain't got to be worried about him wiling out i still think like it's that. calm though I think it's calm as long as you know how to manage it. You can have yeah. the empathy and sympathy. Mm. And that's calm. If you don't know how to manage it, that's when it becomes um, problematic. All right, let me ask you this here. Let me give you a scenario. For example, let's say you've got a company. You've got about 20, 30 employees, let's say, yeah? Company's doing fairly well, whatever. You're, let's say you're the alpha. You're the... No, fuck saying that you're the alpha because we don't. We, this will determine if you're an alpha or not. Let's say you're the owner of the company or the leader or whatever. You're running your company. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Someone in the company... Mm is okay but they've been slacking bad recently slacking very bad yeah but donny comes up to you and he's like bro i know i've been slacking but like i've got a lot going on like my missus is like giving me a headache like my children please i really need this job i really need this job but at the end of the day you know that you can find someone better Mm. you know that you can probably do without him it's probably a liability whatever but he's like please no please 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 what would you do i would fire him but yeah. it's it's the way that op- my approach would be different. I wouldn't just be like, yeah, man's the alpha, get out. Mm-hmm. It would be more like I understand like your situation. I get your I get the struggle. I get that it's deep, but I can't lie. I got a business to run. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I got stuff mm-hmm. to do. Mm-hmm. I, I have money to make, mm-hmm. and you're not doing it for me. And like it's life, bro. Life is unfair, isn't it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> what do you want us to do? No, if life I is agree. fair, everyone I will be getting their their, their piece of the pie. Yeah, figures, but realistically, yeah. that's not it. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. What about you? They they always say just to add on top top of what you just said. They always say um you. You never get what you deserve. You always get what you negotiate. That's, well, I don't know if it's just in a business context, but I really love that phrase saying, whatever you want to call it. You should get it tattooed, bro. Yeah, it soon comes right <laughs> on my chest. <laughs> Hen on your forehead. Yeah, trust me. <laughs> yeah, go on. Um, what was your question, sorry? It was, what would you I'm do in that, in that scenario? Oh, so are we assuming that this is the first time I'm having a conversation with a person? Or I've, I've told them repeatedly? Nah, let's say first time. If it was the first time, I'll, I'd do some sort of like, yeah, I've, Action got, plan. I've got to put you on like a performance review or something. I'll, I'll probably, I always like giving people the benefit of the doubt mm. most of the time, unless someone's done something. But he, but let's say in this scenario, more likely than not, he'll fuck you over again. If I've got enough reason and enough yeah, doubt you to do. believe that me, uh, him remaining in the company is going to cause me more damage, yeah. then of course I'll do what he said as well. Mm. But I try to do it as nice. nicely as I can. Like, you know, I'll give you a month to find something like here. Mm. I'm not, it's not like, get out yeah now. this is your last day pack up your stuff before you leave yeah. today Un- unless it was something crazy in it mm. but like it'll be like you know here's your month's notice if you need a reference shout yeah. me whatever like if you need some help i'll try my best but unfortunately from a, the business's point of view it's not cutting it mate sorry about that and you think that's the alpha way to do it or that's your way I f- that's just my way i wouldn't I say like, what do you think it, is the alpha way to do it i still feel no, like that's the same thing yeah, because you still have sympathy and empathy for the person but yeah, at the same time yeah you're able to maneuver your way through all of these emotions and still make like a rational yes, decision. Yes, yes, Because realistically, you're trying to make money, bro. Yeah, that's true. Who's, who's running my the business thi- my for, thing for vibes? Is, that's what I'm trying to say. My thing is, is being an alpha isn't necessarily about like, you know, deep voice, you know, sit down right now, you know, yeah, yeah. being a dick basically. That I don't think that's what being an alpha is. Yeah. I think it's just like how you say what you're saying and yeah. how you move. Basically. No, that's true. But I think we, like even in my head, I, I agree 100% with what you guys are saying. And I'll probably do something very similar where, I guess the the decision itself isn't what makes you alpha. It's how you approach it. Mm. So someone can literally do, take the same decision as both of you and me, myself as well, and be like, you're fired, but they could do it in a proper dickhead way. Like, listen, you fucked up once. You fucked up my company. I hate you, whatever. Mm-hmm. Get out of here. Mm-hmm. never want to see you again. Yeah. And then that's... But in my head, I don't know if it's something we've been conditioned, but that seems more alpha. Do you get it? Because it's more... Mm, yeah. I'm gonna, I don't know if I agree I don't with care. that one. But that, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, don't, I don't think that's more alpha. In, in terms of morals and in terms of how you should be as a human. Yeah. But if you're looking at it like how we've been conditioned to think, yeah. I think that is what... Like when you think of alpha straight away, I think dickhead. Okay. I'll be real. I okay. think jerk. I think someone who's, you know, not really like polite to Maybe like waitresses. And, yeah, like not, not really a pleasant person, but they get what they want at the end of the day, bro. Mm, nah, I wouldn't say when I think of uh, alpha, I think of like someone who's rude to people or anything like that. I think that's what we've been conditioned to think. Oh, that's okay, my point. Conditioned, okay, okay. Yeah, that's... Okay. I'd, I'd, my, my, my personal characteristics would be so different from that, but whether... Let me put it this way, yeah. If I if I had two lives, yeah, one life I let I let I I lived yeah. as a very fair person, an alpha, but 
like able to make rational decisions, nice, empathetic, sympathetic, whatever, mm -hmm. but confident, assertive. And then the other life I lived as just, where the fuck is my money, bro, blah, blah, like whatever, just like, just alpha to the, to the most jerky version, yeah, like proper prick. Which one would uh, the society see more as an alpha? I think the, the latter. Mm. In my when you put it like that, actually, I don't know, man. I really don't know, bro. I because don't know. even if I look at it from a point of like a, the context of like dating, for example, yeah, like like we recently did two episodes on the ick, yeah, mm. one for about what mandem find is the ick, and one for obviously what women find being the ick, right? Different different women, different girls will prefer different things. Do you get me? Mm. Like for certain girls, oh, if he if he wears this, then that's, I would never go near that kind of guy or whatever. Or like if he's too in his, if he's too emotional if he, or something like that, then I would never even want a guy that's bare in his feelings. But then some girls, that's exactly what they want. They, they want someone who's self-aware. Mm. They want someone who's emotionally stable and all yeah. that kind of stuff. So like, I think it proper varies, man. Yeah, the yeah. definition of what an alpha is then is, is proper subjective. Mm. Mm -hmm. It is. But don't take it as, like I genuinely don't think an alpha is really what women want in my like to a certain extent you have to have alpha traits mm -hmm. but I don't like as we're moving forward as society as well I think women are finding it more and more attractive when men are more open yeah men are more like um in touch with feelings but also like with their emotions whatever but also even with like self care and stuff self yeah 100% self care that might not seem that alpha that's true that might not seem that alpha like mm -hmm. taking care of your eyebrows and taking care of like you know like skin fades and all of that that might seem a bit you know girly or whatever mm -hmm. like feminine traits mm -hmm. um fashion rings mm -hmm. jewelry all this kind of stuff like women s seem to like that a bit more nowadays mm -hmm. rather than alpha stuff but i still do feel like you need those tendencies of i think what it really comes down to is assertiveness confidence i think might a be a certain best. level of dominance as well yeah but like i think yeah i said this last time as well there's there's a fine line between being dominant and being domineering. Oh, domineering I love this one. Just oh, like, I already explained this. Isn't it? Explain it, explain, but, but okay, they don't explain, know you. They, they okay, know, the yeah. domineering is basically just being dominant, but like in a bit of a, in a in a you're basically a prick when you go about doing mm. it. Whereas if you're a dominant person, you can kind of get people to do stuff that you want them to do, but without having to make them feel like you're forcing them to, or like mm. saying it mm. in a way where you're kind of trying. Goes back to, to being a leader. Yeah. Yeah, basically. But that's dominant. No, that's. Uh, the good one is dominant the bad one is domineering okay okay domineering what was it again where well, you don't it's, have it's knowledge or something well you're basically forcing someone to do stuff mm. you like go about trying pressured. to get people to do stuff like in a in an arrogant or, okay. or, or rude way okay Makes but sense. that's the one that people I think conflate with being an alpha in general yeah 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 because it's like you look you just look like you're getting people to do stuff mm. like you're on job you're get like you say you say to someone do something and they're gonna do it yeah. and to people they're like oh yeah this guy, he's got influence and power over people. But mm. imagine you could be that person, but you don't even need to go go uh, about being uh, mm. or doing it in a rude way. Mm. Imagine you could just tell someone to do something in the mm. nicest mm. way mm. and they'll do it. To mm. me, that's very dominant. The fact yeah. that you even have that level of respect that's where true. you can mm. say something to someone in the nicest possible way and they're like, you know what, let me let me do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Some people that I feel like a lot of people are very insecure mm. that they feel like the only way they could get people to do stuff is by speaking to them in a rude way mm. or like trying to force it down. Yeah, them. yeah, yeah. And that, I, I think I that agree. stems from insecurity. Mm. That's very true. That's very true. That's a nice way of looking at it. You know? Yeah, that's a very good way. You put I it, think bro. I, I'm not going to lie to you. I think it's, it's very, very sad in like society the way this society views alphas like it should be like that it should be a thing where you should be appreciated for your sympathy for mm -hmm. your empathy mm -hmm. for your for your kindness for being able to to, to explain stuff to people in a nice mm. emotional way whatever you know but somewhere in my head i feel like a lot of people see that as a as a negative like mm -hmm. in my friendship in multiple friendship circles that i have i'd say i carry a lot of those traits that i'm talking about but in a lot of different places I've been to and crowds that I've emerged myself in and places that I've been, whatever, um, you wouldn't point me out to be the alpha. Yeah, it all comes mm. from the whole mm. idea of um, toxic masculinity. What do you lot think of that, by the way? 100%. That was, uh, remind me again, Like I know what it means, but like, what can you refer to? I don't know how to exactly define toxic it. Toxic masculinity. But I feel like it just stemmed from bare insecure men that are just, I don't what know. Is they, it they an, would an example so be like someone saying, oh, I'm an alpha male? Is that an example not of not even like masculine? just being toxic in general? So mm. a lot of the time it will be towards females, isn't it? Yeah. And how how like guys would treat women, Let and it's like the more toxic you are towards them, the more you're rated, isn't it? Yeah. And yeah, like yeah. you go back to your boys, and, and that's all the of thing. them man are spudding you and that. But 100%. if you're like the more 
you know, the softer, the more sympathetic person, it's like you, you're not getting that many ratings. Yep. And yep. it comes from just better insecure, man, just rating each other. So on it Google, is. toxic masculinity is a set of attitudes and ways of behaving stereotypically associated with or expected of men, regarded as having a negative impact on men and on society as a whole. Mm. Okay. And I feel like that's what kind of shifted the, the what's it called, the definition of, uh, or the old definition of uh, an alpha male mm. to what it is today. Yeah, no, I would agree. I think men have a big, big role to to play in why the the definition of it is so messed up. I think that's very, very true. I think a lot of those um, stigmas about alphas, or the, just those Im- like those thoughts I have in my head of the jerk, the thing that comes from men. That comes because the guy has probably the guy doing it has probably seen a lot of success from men and a lot of ratings from men, not from females. Mm. Do you get it? I think it's mostly from the males, and I think even stuff like. Um, a lot of men like to be, they think that the best way to be as a man is very big and very muscular and very, you know, just dominant and blah, blah, blah. But I was speaking to some guy who's like proper educated and that probably knows what he's talking about, but I would never be able to replicate in the same way he did, like same, same way he explained it to me. But he basically said that that's something that men have got in their head. That's basically to- toxic masculinity to a certain level because he goes, that's what we think. But actually, if you speak to a woman, they would actually like, a man to have cheekbones they would like to see a man chisel they would like to see a man who's a bit ripped like not ripped ripped but like it's in their nature to see a man who's a bit like fit and healthy and able to do all of that but men the way we view ourselves is you're not rated if you're not mm. Mm. do you get it mm. does that make sense yeah to a certain level i wish i had him he would explain it so sick wallah but the thing yeah. is um this is going a bit of a tangent but obviously you know we've got you here today as a guest so obviously you being a content creator mashallah you're doing amazing things um, wait, it's just for the people who may not know of your work, like how long you been doing your content for? Since January this year. Okay, so what? Water, what's that? 11, 11 months basically. Yeah, 11 basically months. 11 well, months coming so. up to end this might be yeah. 11, 12 months. When it comes to, you know, you being quite prominent on social media, and mashallah, you've got a large following in that. Would you say that's because obviously we're on the topic of alphas and being a man and what it is to be a man? You just mentioned toxic masculinity. In regards to the context of your content and content creating in general, would you think that's played in a, uh, played in a, what, how am I trying to say it? Had an effect, sorry, with maybe how women perceive you? Has, do you think that's changed from since before you done content and before you were more bait or more known online? Yeah, I think it has. But the thing is with me and my, I'm, I feel like I'm different to a lot of other creators. Because firstly, I've always kind of like just been myself and I still am myself. Like I'm still the same guy I was mm-hmm. last year, two years ago, three years ago. I feel like I'm not very easily influenced by okay. like stuff that happens usually in in society. And obviously, with like a certain level of clout, you, there's people shouting you and whatever. But f- I I don't I don't deep that stuff. Like I'm just <laughs> I just ignore it and I'm mm. just like let me just be myself. Mm. And it's not like I'm actively trying to be myself. It's just I can't not be myself. I find it weird. But mm. have you noticed that, for example, any girls changing up on you or acting different or acting more bougie because nah, oh, you're really. that guy on TikTok or maybe people you know from the past, even mandem, like people you know from the past. Oh, <laughs> that's different. Yeah. Do you get me? <laughs> yeah. Moving a bit. Oh, now my amazing yeah, popping now. So like, let me bo- yeah. let me be a bit more. Mandem are definitely a lot more toxic in that sense. Yeah. Mm. I think so. I feel like mandem are a lot more shameless in that sense. Yeah. Mandem care about, it's very, very insecure. Um, and it stems from a lot of insecurities but mandem really care about ratings and they care about how a lot of other men rate them I'm telling you mandem care about how men view them more than how they care about I women agree. view them yes, mm. Wallah <laughs> toxic masculinity yeah that's a form of it I it's think it's so sad bro it's very weird it's v- I don't know where it comes from I don't know where it stems from I've even seen like you validation. even see this from like a primary school level yeah yeah there'll be someone and say they find uh, a, a, a female attractive yeah their boys will tell them, oh, that's a dead thing. And they will actually switch, like, it will change something in their brain and they will start to believe that 100%. that person is not attractive anymore. Mm. And it works the other way around. Imagine there's, like, there, there'll be a guy and they won't think that someone's attractive. And then all the men are rating that girl and they're saying, yeah, she is attractive. That person will slowly start to believe that they're attractive. Yeah. No, I hear that. Yeah, it's, it's weird. Bro. I hear that 100%. I, I don't even know where that comes from. I can't lie. I don't think uh, it's the same with women, by the way. No, like, it's different. I, with I, women. If, for example, if a girl genuinely liked the guy, and she went to her friends, and her friends were like, "Oh, but that guy's not really blah blah." blah. I don't think. I think the percentage percentage of a man changing his his mind is higher than a woman changing her easily, mind. Easily, bro. Women are mm. a lot less um, easily influenced by that kind of stuff when they yeah. really like someone. That's interesting. Then yeah. they I'm like. Trying someone. to think on that. That's Ma- why I don't man. believe in X and, and that kind of stuff. So yeah. You can have your X, yeah, but I promise you, if you really like someone, yeah, yeah you're, you're ignoring everything. Yeah, of course, of course. That's what I was gonna say. So you're so you're basically saying. 
a guy mm. will be more influenced by his brethren's opinion on a girl that he likes compared to a girl. girl's opinion on a girl that yeah, a, yeah. a guy that yeah. one of their girls likes. Yeah. Okay. I'm not I saying it that. obviously still happens for girls, but I, yeah, I just still feel like yeah, yeah, majority percentage. is, is okay, good. okay, okay. Yeah. Now, that's interesting because, like, no, no, no. That even like if if I think far as back as like primary school, mm. it's like you know primary school is a lot more smaller. There's smaller classrooms, smaller classes in general. It's, mm. it's, there was always like the one two pretty girls that everyone fancied or yeah. whatever. Like if you liked her, like she was, you know, this girl was known for the lurgies or yeah, yeah. no one wanted to sit next to her yeah. or even. Certain man was, <laughs> yeah. They don't want to say it to them and stuff like that. Yeah, but it's uh, like even you go like on social media, for example, bro. You go to every walk of life. A lot of man, you'll be surprised at how many things a lot of man do. Yeah. For the validation of other men. Okay, okay. That reminds me of something you said in the episode we did before about um, you're not harmless. No, no, you're not powerful. You're harm. No, no. You, what was it? it? Was, I know what you're talking about. It was that quote. That quote. And I, I don't even know how to phrase it. I'm just oh, saying it in my own way. Yeah, you got to no, say it. Remixing it, but it's um. Paraphrase. What's it called? If you're if you have no capacity to to like cause damage, yeah, you're not um you're, you're not, not peaceful. peaceful. You're harmless. Oh. So like only someone that can actually cause damage but can maintain like their peacefulness is actually peaceful. That's so if true. you can't cause damage, yeah. then like you're that. actually just harmless. I'm getting that one tattooed. You get the other one tattooed. I'll get henna, that one. Henna, 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 henna. <laughs> yeah, henna. <laughs> That's sick. What was your one? Live love, love. Loophole. <laughs> quinch, quinch, nudge, nudge. <laughs> what was your what? It wasn't. It was. Uh, <laughs> what was the one you said earlier? You said a quote. But it was it had it didn't have any context to what he was saying. Live, laugh. Oh, I said laugh, um, laugh, laugh. you are what you eat. Yeah, that's the no. one. What is that the one <laughs> that you wanted to eat? Ta- I want about eat. a steak. About a you steak. are what you eat. Oh, oh, and oh, was that it? Was that the one that? Nah, was nah, nah. You were talking one. about um, what's it called? Eating steaks makes you more alpha. And he was like, you were like, you are what you eat. And I said you should get that tattooed. Yeah. No, I'm sure it was a different one. Was it a different one? I think it was. A I think one. it was that. Oh, we're just coming out with bare quotes. Yeah. Now we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to watch this again after this film. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, nuts. me. But yeah. now, nah, um, speaking of um, alpha stuff, so I know you know about this, but um, do you watch her ZZ Mills? Do, do you know she her? She does the interviews. Isn't yeah, yeah, yeah. I've yeah, seen yeah. a few of them. So, and do you know the other presenter, Sideman all day? Nah. He's, is I watched he, that video is today. He from though. Birmingham. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think the I'm black guy. But I haven't seen him on that show. Do you know? Do you know Sideman? Yeah, so basically this is going about maybe I want to say like a month and a half month. They they've got a podcast I think yeah. Plus on like Amaz- Yeah yeah that's the one uh, on Amazon or something. And long story short, they basically ended up having a debate where she publicly said in front of his face, "I don't think you're an alpha" to him, and he turned around and said, "Why not? I make my own peas. I've got multiple businesses." Uh, like I, I put all my family on. I put my friends on. I got employees. I he put was staff. triggered. I got, I've got. Oh, I own, pissed off? I've got yeah. assets. Uh, better, man. Like, <laughs> how you get, how you get <laughs> triggered? Trust me. That's I'll, yeah. That's what if, I like, if you're I secure own, within yourself, I own properties. Yeah. You know, I built whatever. Like he, he just started listing the things. And I'm not gonna lie. Like I agree with him to the point of like the accolades he is listing and the mm. achievements he is listing. Like mashallah. Like yeah. Like the fact that you're able to put your mandem on, your family on, and you know you're able to make so much money from mm. what you do and all that stuff. But like. Money, I don't, I don't think money is just a be or end or. Yeah. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. So um, that was an interesting point. Can I, can I add one more characteristic? Yeah. You just reminded me mm. of what defines an alpha, yeah. Mm. And I think it's someone that actually just doesn't care about what other people think or mm. self, self, because that takes a, a very like high level of like self control. It's very mm. difficult mm. to like just ignore yeah, um, I'm input a, from other people. I'm yeah. gonna be honest, yeah. Obviously, we've been doing content for two years now, like. I think only just now, like after a very, and I'm not even gonna lie to you, though, like be honest in front of the camera, like even like I'm getting to that point where I'm be- still becoming carefree. Do you get me? Yeah, it's like, very hard. Like I wouldn't bro, say I'm, I'm I feel home. like we're all still. I don't. Yeah, I, I, I think of a single person that's genuinely to be bulletproof. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, wow, yeah, yeah. it's very tough. That's impossible. Oh, okay, the close to impossible. Yeah, close to impossible. But like, yeah. I don't. I don't. From I early condition to actually care about what other people think or say. I think in this day and age, opinions, yeah. Especially in this day and age, when you're seeing so many different types of bodies, so many different types of personalities, and people that are rich and people yeah. that it's very, it's very hard to bro. not compare, compare, compare constantly mm. to the point where you start feeling a bit self-conscious mm. to a certain extent. Mm. That's true. Yeah. So when and someone says, seen the good parts of everyone's what, life as well." Literally, imagine someone like now to you, like six man walk in, five man walk in, and they start, <laughs> "What are those shoes, bro?" bro? <laughs> Naturally, what, I'm gonna feel like. Huh? You pour out my shoes? No, no, I'm just saying, for example. I'm joking, I'm joking. What's that trim? No, I'm joking. Your trim's light. It's calm. But um, imagine they said that, for example. <laughs> That's what you should get tattooed. Sorry, man. 
Imagine they said that, yeah. Since episode one, he loves talking about trims. That's yeah. his thing. That's his thing. thing. Oh, is that why yeah, you come yeah. prepared every time? Yeah. What, with a trim? Yeah. Do I look nice? Yeah, you Thank look you hard. Man. He's lying to you. He's a guest. That's why he's lying. <laughs> I said he's a model, so you relax. <laughs> relax. We've got That's each other. My bro. I don't have a trim. <laughs> My bro. Soon come. Sponsor me. Uh, <laughs> See, this guy wants to sponsor for everything, bro. I swear <laughs> down, bro. Every <laughs> single thing. Quit your restaurant. You've become doing content creation for vibes. Eric, Manscaped, sponsor him. I wouldn't be surprised if they <laughs> yeah, me. They put, I wouldn't be surprised if Manscape hollered you soon. Who's Landscape? Manscaped. Oh, Manscaped. Oh, he ruined his chances. He ruined his never, chances. Never mind. You just, oh, no, no, no. just, just say, yeah. yeah. Oh, Manscape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa, Manscape shop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I said Landscape. I said Landscape. <laughs> now they're a shaving they're company. A hiking, they're, they're a trimmer's company. They sponsored us recently. Oh, but I don't. It's not there. It's not for yeah. that. Oh, is this no, the alpha trait, guys? It's guys, it's having a beard. It's not having a beard. It's for for that. for downstairs. Oh, Manscaped. Your balls will thank you. Your balls will thank you. But trim? Um, What's I saying? Something to do with trim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if six men came in right now and they said, oh, your crepes are dead, naturally you might feel a certain type of way, but imagine someone goes, well, I don't care. Or like, yeah, but all you man, whatever. Or like, bro, so bulletproof to a point where they genuinely like don't that. care. I remember I bought a pair of kicks. Yeah. I will never forget this. I thought they were the shit. Yeah, I was 15 years old. Kicks are hard though. No, no, not kicks. Like shoes. Oh, I was talking about kickers. No, 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 kickers. <laughs> no, no, kickers were, were, this guy were, kickers were tough. Back. Kickers were sick. Oh, okay. No, 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 kickers were, were wavy. No, I bought a pair of trainers, yeah? That I thought were the shit, bro. I went on Sports Direct and there was a brand. Do you know Pele, the footballer? <laughs> yeah. yeah. There was a brand called Pele. <laughs> it's named after him. <laughs> bro, in my life, they were colored plimsolls, basically, yeah? <laughs> But these times, I'm 14 and I'm 15 and my mom's just giving me like £100. I'm thinking, bro, they're hard, you know, Pele you as well. You a bill on the Pele crepes? No, no, I, I bought two. Uh, but two they were pairs. £30 each. No, they are £30 each, yeah. I bought one in black, one in blue because I thought, bro, these are the shit. And Pele uh, as well. If I tell my boys I've got Pele shoes, they're going to be thinking, <laughs> bro, I'm rated. So I took them out once. I wore them. Fired. Worst decision you, of my life. Did you kick more at lunch though? No, no, they're not for football. So you swear you no, do, no, so you're gonna make you more streamlined no, no, fast. <laughs> no no just for fashion no grip nothing oh. just for fashion I'm gonna try and find them voila Pele and had Pele his signature number 10 bro worst kicks ever and um, as soon as someone says something that's it boom took them off never wore them again oh, that's threw oh. them away I think I sent them back home to like someone in like Lebanon or Syria or something <laughs> swear down they, were, they probably loved off them They're probably my shoes got finesse one time in Algeria bro what, mosque? Yeah, no, no, no oh. f- family member. Swear. I swear down. You went there and with them and you came back without them? I went there and my crepes were not there anymore. What, they, did they tell you they're taking them or just nah, not? No, but the, the only family members are in the yard. <laughs> what, it's like it's like my granddad's house, isn't it? So there's bare cousins and bare aunties and then their kids and it's like a big family of like, I don't know, like over 200 people. Bare man coming in and out. I took off my crepes, I put them there, I woke up the next day, the crepes are not there anymore. I was looking for them everywhere. And it's, I don't know, bro. If you know where they are, comment in the comments. And then you see your cousin on Instagram with MXs on his feet and you're thinking, where did you get them from? <laughs> I was very conf- No, this was when I was younger, bro. Oh, was it? There were some dead Reebok crepes. I was still sad. But still, Reebok is big for them, bro. Yeah. Back home. Nah, it's a Reebok, though. <laughs> <laughs> Walla in Iraq, they had WhatsApp uh, sliders. <laughs> Have you not seen? Oh, what I need to show you the same. WhatsApp. Do you know how rude that is? Do you know how crazy that is? <laughs> I want to see that factory. They said WhatsApp oh, no, like that. Because they, they, they probably saved the image from Google, yeah? <laughs> and then they sent it to the printer. Oh, hey. That's crazy. Of everything. They could have done tell me you <laughs> uh, H squared. Please tell me you've seen this. Look at the top left, yeah? Let's have a look. <laughs> what is that? WhatsApp perfume. No way. Yeah. Have you not seen that before? Was that Pakistani? No, no, no. I don't know what it is. Uh, I hope not. I don't know what it is. Oh, whoever you, created that needs to be cancelled. Have you seen it? What's that fragrance for men? <laughs> What's up are doing their thing, you know? What's up uh, merch? Do you, know, do you know that's smart? Big that's smart thing. branding. They're What's trying up? to say that more Soon people are going to hit you up if, uh, if you wear the perfume. Bro. More people will hit you the, up? The 9-in-1 shampoo. 9-in-1? The nah. They have the 2-in-1, the shampoo conditioner. There was one 9-in-1 one. one. It had shampoo, conditioner. It was like um, toothbrush. Yeah, it had t- toothpaste, toothpaste, I mean. uh, gasoline, petrol. <laughs> it had bare, it had like nine different ones. <laughs> These times it's just soap. I, swear, <laughs> I don't know what it was. That's nuts. Yeah, what were you saying, Hida? I can't remember what I was saying. Before no, you we... said something because I was, oh, I had a good, oh, I was going to say this, yeah. Going What's back to the, perfume? yeah, Amazon can search it up. Uh, What's this? What are we searching up? I don't know, you're searching something up now. I'm trying to find out the other ingredients in case someone wants to buy them. It's oh. The brand is Barbasol, by the way, 9 and 1 shampoo. Sponsor, sponsor him. Sponsor <laughs> him. Sponsor him. <laughs> Body wash, soap, lotion, shaving cream, toothpaste, detergent, and motor oil. That 
you have lost it if you think I'm washing my hair with Most the same thing I'm brushing my teeth. Shot me. <laughs> he doesn't care. You he just want to be care. promoted for anything, anything innit? Now, the teeth thing is, the thing is I, I, I'm, over, I'm joking about it too much because I'm the opposite. Yeah. yeah. I don't want to promote random stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah you have course, to believe course, in something. Course, course. Yeah, and not yeah. only that, if, if it's something that I don't rate that much, I'll, I'll, I'll respond to the email. I'll be like, I can't lie, I'm not promoting it. I'll review it for you, mm. but I might do the I might do some damage if I'm reviewing it and I don't like it. Yeah. So it's up to you if you want to pay through. me to, and then they're like, to mm. violate your product. Actually. What do they say back? They they either say, no, nah, unfortunately, we can't do that because this is like a promotion thing mm. or they'll just air. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So I'll just oxygen. Like, but I don't. <laughs> yeah, I swear. I feel like I'm in the sky. But now it is. Oh, yeah, the funny mix today. Crazy. Thanks. <laughs> Sorry about funny mix. It's the Lucas Aid. Oh, the Lucas Aid. <laughs> um, you were saying? Before WhatsApp perfumes was in yeah, the conversation um, and WhatsApp uh, flip flops. I was going to say, sliders. I don't think it's the decision of doing something that makes you alpha. Mm. I think it's the way you make that decision mm. or carry out that decision. Does that make sense? So you can have the same outcome. Mm. Yeah, because what were you lot talking about before? You were talking about something. When you went, when you got up? No, just after that, when we're sitting down. So I, when, when you got up, I was speaking to him about like him being a content creator and like have people changed uh, towards him. No, you you were speaking about a decision you had to make, something you had to do. Um, the ZZ Mills thing? Uh, yes, Sideman. thank you so yeah. much, yes. See that, uh, what's his name? Sideman. Sideman, yeah. So let's say Sideman, the decision, oh sorry, the outcome could have been... Um, that he wants to argue against that, yeah? That he wants to prove that he's an alpha. But the way he done it separates him from an alpha. Does that make sense? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So That's the outcome is the same, yeah, that you want to argue yeah. against her point, but it's the way you argue against her point that can either put you in the fold of alpha or take you out of the fold of alpha. Yeah. Does that make sense? Because I think the way he came on it, obviously, shout out Sideman, but I think the way he came about it was a bit... Defensive. Too defensive to a point where now you're overcompensating. You're trying yeah. to overprove your, yourself. If you're like, he took it about something and someone draws you out about it, you're going to You're going to overcompensate. Yeah. yeah, you're going to overcompensate and be like, you're going to try and convince them even more that you're not that because you're so insecure about it. Does yeah. that make sense? If mm. someone was genuinely very secure, yeah, yeah, I promise you, if ZZ Mill said that to them, they're, they're not going to say anything. They're, probably they're, not, gonna, they're not even going to say, I don't care. Yeah, yeah. They're just cool. Yeah, 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 exactly. So the fact, bro, if you watch the video, literally as soon as, soon as she says it, he goes, <laughs> he starts looking around and he pushes, he goes, oh, it's going to get heated or something. Like he was ready for it. He was ready to argue against but that. But he's known for being quite a, like, charismatic kind of like... No, I'm sure that's his way of uh, doing just, it. But just like, the same way Young Philly's known for being the loud kind of bubbly guy. Yeah, yeah, I, I get that. But I think Sideman's known for being quite, like, controversial as well. No, I get that. But I think that's... It contradicts the the way an, an al a real alpha moves, in my yeah. opinion. It contradicts yeah, it. Like, yeah, you got trying to overcompensate that much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I rate, like... Like I said, what the, listed. The, the, the what he listed is an alpha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's the way he listed them. Do you get mm, it? Mm, mm, well, so you're trying to tell me I'm not I the feel alpha like even of my the group. Fact that he listed, even if it wasn't yeah, that exactly. way, I feel like the exactly. fact that he yeah. listed them yeah. is a bit like it's it's maybe that's what's um what's it called? It's missing some of the other characteristics like confidence, assertiveness, mm -hmm. and security within self oneself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. now you're you've got all the other stuff. You've yeah. got the P's, you've got the yards, you've got all of that. Yeah. But then. Do you have that that self confidence? Yeah, exactly. Do you have that, mm -hmm. um, yeah, just yeah, the assertiveness. That's true. Yeah, it's That's very, very true. true. Speaking of, um, you know, a minute ago we we're joking about like oh. ethnic. You good? Yeah, man, my back is messed, man. I'm never playing football Spinal. again. Final. Um, please tell me you know where that's from. Yeah, shout out Mike Tyson. Do you know where that's from? No, I broke my back. I broke my back. Spinal. Which 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 part? Spinal. You know, you never seen it. <laughs> oh. Nah, Mike Tyson. Though. Yeah, yeah, I'll yeah, show you there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> now, but. We were speaking about ethnic households and all that stuff, and I just uh, we spoke about this last time as well. What about from uh, being an? Uh, I'm taking off just as we approach the closing a bit or whatever. I don't know how long we've been recording for. Yeah, how long has this been? I don't it's know. About an hour, I think. No, nah, but we're not gonna minutes. we're not gonna oh. include all of it, are we? Like from the beginning? No, nah, not yeah, from yeah. there. Then. Um, what about being an alpha male or just an alpha within an ethnic household? Because we spoke about this last time, and this was genuinely something I found quite interesting. Yeah, it was the kind of the conversation of like not knowing how to maybe paint or you know do a lot of diy or stuff like that obviously we we came to the mutual agreement that knowing to do like the bare minimum like like uh like basic painting or changing a flipping light bulb or basic like kind of mm. whatever you want to call it like that diy work that's that's kind of goes without saying in it mm. but like me i'm someone that bro i took the in in life like all of us 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 free actually no no ali as well he went uni as well like we all took the educational route in it like, as in our success came from 
going to school, going sixth form, college or whatever, then going uni. And that, uh, like the whole point was to be the, the nine to five office guy in it sort of thing. I didn't need to do the painting growing up. Mm. I didn't need to mow the lawn growing up. I didn't need to be doing up, you know, screwdrivers and that. Don't Bob get me wrong. Up. I can do a few things like, you know, seeing elders do it throughout the years and whatnot. And if I really needed to and that push came to shove, I, I could. But what's your take on that? Like uh, in regards to like, being from an ethnic uh, background? Well, from my personal experience, I can't lie. Like obviously I took the academic route and yeah. that was because I wanted to. I wanted to have like a safety net for whatever I whatever I want to do after in life, mm, yeah. Mm. But um, like from young, my parents always used to force, like their favorite fr- phrase here was um, figure it out. They would not let me, like they wouldn't do stuff for me in general. Mm. So if there's something that I can't fix or something I can't do, they'll be like, figure it out. And they would kind of force, they'll put me in these situations where I have to kind of learn how to do that stuff. So I don't, me personally, I grew up learning how to do this stuff mm-hmm. from early. Mm-hmm. So what you're saying is your dad drilled it into you. <laughs> 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 uh, no, you haven't done it. Same joke again. <laughs> Sick. Wait, that's a new one. That's a that's new, a new one. one. <laughs> you didn't know that one before. Did oh, you say it was I screwed you into you? Were waiting, you were waiting to say Did they drive like it into you? mine earlier. I had to get him back. <laughs> no, no, but. but nah, it, was, it was hammered into me as well. <laughs> <laughs> what other appliances? Can Ali, you're his hype man now. Because like, he's not getting it from me or him. But yeah, I never man. get it from you, man. You're wet. Yeah, because you, you palm me too much. That's all right, man. Oh. Yeah, so no, 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 for real. <laughs> off, <laughs> off camera you get me it's no 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 for real <laughs> um is that how you learned how to swim by the way because i'm thinking back at it i think that's how i learned to swim what you got thrown in the wallah my uncles were there oh, right. yeah just but i just got bro i was crying bro <laughs> like just wallah bear crying ah, and i grabbed onto my brother and like, i'm screaming for they're like they took pictures of me whilst uh, i'm crying i remember one time i was uh there were people jumping in the algeria chat. And like, Algeria, Algeria is not touristic like that. It's not like there's a specific location. And mm. it's like, guys, you can jump off safely here. It's literally just a cliff and I'm a man will just jump in. And then I s- I'm seeing that and I'm getting back. I was watching it for like half an hour. I was like, I want to do this, innit? Mm. I told my dad, he was like, I can't lie, go and do it. And I was like, I'm scared because it's like 25 meters up. Mm. I haven't cliff jumped. I don't even know if it's safe. Not safe. You know, Algerians are tapped anyway. How old are you? I think I was like 14 or 15 or something. Oh, okay. He was like, okay, start off with this one, the little one. Go up to the medium one and then go up to the big one. I went on to like the, the smaller one and I was like, Bonnie, let me just go up to the bigger one. And then I just jumped off. And from there, I just started cliff diving all the time. Man. So you jumped so off the big one? Yeah, bro. It was one time I was, I went cliff, di- I didn't, I didn't go cliff diving. I went to the beach and then I jumped off a cliff here. Yeah. But then this one <laughs> said was it so casually. <laughs> this was one, there water there? Yeah, there was water. <laughs> 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 what you <think> I did? <laughs> no, no, I was really <laughs> like, yeah. snapped at the bottom. <laughs> Just parkour. <laughs> you know them thotties, they start, they, they, yeah, they, they roll, roll, they roll, they roll, they roll, they roll. <laughs> just embrace the, they the can pool. jump from anywhere, they'll land on the <laughs> shoulder <laughs> and roll over, you know. But no, it's just water. They I can make see it, the rocks they make it look so easy, like, yeah, yeah, they're yeah, rolling over. Yeah, like, they make it look I so easy. I tried it once, I swear my neck, I was like this for, for a few hours. I had a flatmate who was into that shit, I'll tell you that about it. I jumped on a bench and jumped off and that's it. Oh, you're hard. Come on. Anyways, what's it called? I jumped off this cliff one time, but it was a lot higher than any of the other ones I jumped off. And this was like in a secluded area, so it was just me and my cousins. And then that's it. Like, there's no one for the, to tell me, yo, big man, don't j- don't jump off this. And you know, have you ever been on like a roller coaster and it's moving so far, you get like butterflies to the point where you feel like you're gonna like Pass faint, out, innit? Yeah. Have you never, have you had that before? I had that on Fort, uh, Fort Park Swarm. I'm not gonna lie to you, it got to the top and it went down so fast. That you that just feel like you're gonna Yeah, gonna yeah fade, I was like, bruv, I'm about to, I kept screaming Allah, Wallah. <laughs> that basically happened to me, but <laughs> I wasn't on a ride, bruv. <laughs> I'm just there in my shorts, shirtless. Oh, you nearly fainted. And I, I literally, I think it was like a, I don't know how many seconds I was dropping, but l- before I hit the water, I nearly fainted. That would no have been a way. big L, bro, because I would be unconscious underwater. Underwater, and, and, and your, I your friends, your cousins are just there, like. <laughs> <laughs> I swear no, they no, no, no. The these man, oh, Jay, they don't even wait, bro. I swear you're <laughs> jumping, jump 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 jumping off. off to you. And more time, these man can't even swim. Is it? They'll just be like doggy paddling, <laughs> <laughs> but they don't care, bro. That's a breaststroke. Not even breaststroke, bro. They'll just be like kicking anything to stay like above the water. Yeah, I'll be real. Extreme sports and that, like uh, um, back home. So no go, no health and safety, bro. Nah, no I've seen it. I've seen horror videos in like Lebanon, bro, where um, <laughs> now nah, for us, still got the video. I'll show you, man. After. I just remember that time, Jad said he kicked the dog. Yeah, Jad kicked the dog. That was so him, random. Yeah. yeah, bro. Like, there's no health and safety. There's a, a YouTuber who recently went to Lebanon, tried to do um, what's the one where you you hang on to it, paragliding. Is it, are you flying? Yeah, 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 yeah but yeah, it's just yeah, gliding. Yeah. Like yeah. It's just, and I've done it strapped to your back and that. 
Yeah. Yeah, it's that one. That sounds hella sus. Yeah. Yeah. Just flying with random. <laughs> yeah. Flown up. I think it's very romantic, isn't it? Imagine <laughs> Donnie gives you a neck kiss. <laughs> you can't do anything, bro. <laughs> <laughs> He's strapped nah, to you. You can't go into it. Wait till we get down. I'm going to chat to you. Wait till we get down. <laughs> he can take as long as Matt he wants. Said, I'm there. an alpha diving. You <laughs> he, can't be doing control, that. I'm bro. an alpha. You can't do nothing. Oh, that's nuts. Do um, you think that's a non alpha trait? Going what? paragliding. <laughs> 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 because it's bare, it, uh, bare vulnerable yeah, 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 that's true. you're relying on someone else for the safety you of your life that's true the what comp- would be alpha what would be alpha yeah. is getting a certification in paragliding yeah. and then going and doing it yourself yeah. that's I got, alpha I got a scuba diving certificate have you actually got some sharks and that oh shit I don't yeah. <laughs> I do no I come on you're nearly if there you if, wait if you do it once do or don't I've done training for it well when you went body yeah okay they put me in a pool for like 30 minutes and they taught me how to scuba dive Oh, nah, it was like a one week. Um, oh, course. you done a course course. It was like a nine to five, bro. Certified, oh, certified yeah. In yeah. by Matching. associations and that. Yeah. You was going to say something? But the paragliding. paragliding. Yeah, bro. Um, They were about to jump off and then they f- like they fell on their, like, like they just fell. But uh, luckily they were still on the cliff and like Donnie's knees are all g- scraped up and Wait, that. wait, wait. So th- that, what? He wanted to tell, he goes, run, 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 run. Where was the parachute thing? No, it's not parachute. It's just, oh yeah, it's, it's, it's a parachute, isn't it? It's like a it's like a kite, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. I think it it like it catches the wind and then it just like you just start running and then it just takes you off. So they jumped off before it caught no, the no, wind. No, no, no. So he's so it's about to take off now and they're just running, running, running and then Donny out of nowhere goes stop, 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 stop. So he stops and then he just like slides down the cliff, but obviously not like the edge is all the way there, but he's still he's still in this nice territory yeah, nice. and he just scraped up all his legs and then there's another one where it's like a woman's bare high and then she's like strapped and she jumps down. It's meant to be like bungee jumping but very very minuscule. Um, and she, bro, she landed on her spine. Like, on her tailbone. You know what the tailbone is? Oh, that's even worse, Yeah, bro. she landed on her tailbone, and, like, she got up, she went like that, and they tried to pick her up, and she collapsed straight away. Haram, bro. Wallah, I don't know what happened to her. I, like, I want to know, Wallah. Would Which, you ever do anything like that? Not back there, no way. They don't give a fuck. No, no, as in, in like, a, like, Dubai or somewhere like that? Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Like, somewhere... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'd I'll do love it. to, bro. I want to. I've seen this video of this guy doing bungee jumping. Usually, like you, ju- you basically just jump off the thing. I see this guy. He did a whole run up here. I think it was in Australia or something, and just dived off. I want to do that, bro. That's so lit. Like where the hills are yeah, yeah, yeah. What's that called? It's um, something reserve or I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somewhere in Australia. What is it? A parachute? No. no, you just have like a rope attached to like your leg or something. I don't know. Oh. I don't know where it's attached. It's literally you can have it attached around your waist or your leg. And you just and you jump, but the way you jump is instead of going up and down. Oh, like that. It's so lit, bro. Oh, I think I've seen that. Yeah, that looks sick. Have you seen the man that um, they can fly basically because it's like a parachute. Yeah, like a frog it's, thing. It's Have you those, seen it? Um, That's what's nuts. the animal called? There's an animal because frog. The, the design's from an animal. Now it's like a weird flying squirrel thing. I think they're called flying squirrels, but they have like an actual name. Is it bats? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I forgot what it's oh. called. They do look like squirrels. Though. Let me find the name, bro. You say it's, bats? It's gonna annoy yeah. me. Flying squirrels. What? Bats are shaped like that as well, you know, just with wings. Batting. Yeah, 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 yeah. But if you cut off the wings, yeah. it'll still be like attached a little bit. Like, it's from these, the, from man. They're called flying squirrels, but it's them, man. That's where they got the design <laughs> yeah. for the thing from. <laughs> Thank God these lot <laughs> had the, done their own thing. What's what? it called? Flying squirrel? Yeah. yeah. What's the flying actual? Squirrel, yeah. Flying squirrel. That's the, that's the scientific Apparently, name. Yeah. That's the that's a howler. I'm renaming it. Let me see. <laughs> yeah, what? That's so d- Man says flying squirrel. squirrel. You know these scientists come up with the most creative names? Walla. Rodents. No, that's the type of animal, bro. Oh. What does that mean? Like rat and that, isn't it? Okay, like yeah, dirty yeah, ones. Yeah. They're rodents. Sa- Why does rodents sound so disgusted? It does, isn't it? Rodents. Are, it, no, rodents. but is it? Uh, oh yeah, by association, isn't it? Yeah. You know what this one's called? Flying squirrel. I was gonna say something, man. Before we came up with names. Yeah. You were talking about. Uh, have you seen the thing with the? No, 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 thing? no. Uh, uh, oh, parents. Bro. We're talking about parents and that. Ah, oh, parents. <laughs> yeah. Oh, let's yeah. go back to that, man. I was gonna say, like, did you? How was it for you growing up in an ethnic household? Um, like, like, were you made to like learn learn how to paint? No, nah, I think and learn how to that. we spoke about this before. Yeah, I think it comes down to the fact that I was the last child as well. Last child yeah, out, same out of I'm four. I'm the youngest. Yeah. So my mom and dad like bless them. Marshall. They just wanted to make me happy, bro. I mean. So like nothing, anything that had to do with like pain, suffering, tiredness, anything like that. Work. No, bro. Like even to a point where I can't even lie to you. Like God bless my dad, and my mom. Like sometimes. I'll be doing something upstairs. They'll come like up with food and that. Like they've like, they've aged now, but they'll still come up with like food and like bring something. I'm like, mom, bro, like why didn't you just call me? <laughs> mom, bro. <laughs> <laughs> she, I'm like, why didn't you just call me? She's like, no, I'm scared. Like you're working, blah blah. So, yeah, in that sense, my my point is that I was very like looked looked mm. after. So 
I don't think they wanted me to do any of that madness, like DIY and blah, blah. Obviously, I did learn myself because it got to a point where I'm like, yo, like, I don't know how to screw this in. I don't know how to do this. And I don't know how to do that. So obviously, it got to a point where I started doing stuff myself. But um, yeah, I can't, I can't lie. I wish I would have, you know, learned much, much more at a young age. And I think mm. there's a big, big pressure on being an alpha. Mm. In a in an ethnic household, or being very 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 masculine, mm. very mm. masculine. Even the women want you to be very 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 masculine. You know, it's not like a thing where, in the West, maybe women don't really want you to like growing up in a in a Western household. Maybe the mum wouldn't push you to be the manliest man. Mm. Maybe the dad might, but the mum mm. might not. Mm. But in an ethnic household like ours, for example, both both parents no, mm. it's a hab to be tired. You're not allowed to be tired. You're not allowed to, you know, complain. Fati- mom. Fatigue is a myth. Fatigue it's an urban doesn't myth exist. In ethnic household. Tiredness doesn't exist. Um, you know, you have to be on job. You, you're off. You're, you don't. You have holiday. You have annual leave. Go find be another job. Yeah, go, yeah, do well, go learn a course. Well, in I got violated for wearing pink one time in Algeria by my little cousin. Swear, mm. I swear down. He's start telling everyone that he's wearing pink. He's how, pink. how young is he? It was a girl. <laughs> oh, swear. Was like I think she was like eight or something. How old are you? I was like fifteen. I think sixteen. Mm. What you didn't? What you didn't? Well, you feel like I'm gonna kick her in head. <laughs> <laughs> Knuckleball her, bro. <laughs> What's supposed to be? <laughs> I was just, just, like, I was just like, cool. run up. <laughs> 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 no, I think it was my like side man all day. Obviously, you would have sparked. You would have grabbed her, but I'm like a living. Listen. Just because no. I can rock it better than you. you know no, that's mean? funny. What? Um, yeah, but uh, going off that, actually, my mum and dad once got onto me heavy mm. for wearing ripped jeans. Like, bro, he- like, oh, it ended up I don't think I'm allowed to wear them still. Big argument. Like, this is borderline, like, you're moving mad. You gave me like they wouldn't even want this. They wouldn't even want this mm, ripped. Mm. But once I remember, I thought I was, I was a bit brave. I went Zara and I bought like two rips here. But these these times, bro, I'm growing up and I'm still learning what fashion is. And I'm like 18, 17, 18. I'm seeing my boys do it. I'm seeing other men do it. I'm thinking, yo, like I've lost a bit of weight. Like let me try to look nice. And then I've worn it, and my mom's my mom and dad have completely flipped out. Like yeah, you're not you're not leaving the house, big man. So yeah, not yeah, leaving yeah. the yard. You're not leaving the yard at all. And then I called my brother. I'm like, bro. Big, you chat to them, blah blah. He'd be like, he's like, yeah, yeah, nah, I hear you, but you're moving mad as well. Like, why is it that big? <laughs> <laughs> why is the rip that big? I was like, bro, you're wet. Trust. Now, nah, I think for me, my mom still gets on to me about the rips and skinny jeans and yeah. stuff like that. You yeah. Know what yeah. Me? Pink. They, they've accepted now to a certain extent. Yeah. Oh, they've accepted pink. Yeah, they've accepted pink. Yeah, it's cool. Sick. Yeah, mashallah, man. Progression. Pro- <laughs> yeah. Progressive on. societies, man. Come on, man. We're moving up in so the world. What, progression. <laughs> yeah. How are we doing for time? Fifteen minutes. Ah, oh, cool, cool. Left. But yeah, man. We started bare late though. I was no, 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 as in, f- as in, like, filming-wise. Oh, cool. Yeah, no, I think that's... Uh, yeah, we covered the main points. Yeah, man. I had one question, though. Did you have anything you were going to say? No, no, I was just curious. I, I had one... Uh, go on, actually, how was your experience? It was... It was, it was... it was a mixture. Like I said, I think I can do the basics. Mm. But when I don't know, because obviously, like, for me, it's like, all right, I may not know how to paint, like, 10-10, or I, I may not, like, mow the lawn or whatever. But, like... When it comes to like my my profession, like bro, I've got a degree, alhamdulillah. Like I've worked some, pre- like I've worked in pretty, re- what's the word? Rep- Reputable. That word. Uh, employers, so on and so forth. Man came in and saved me. So oh, I feel like I don't feel, and because obviously I want to pursue a career in content creation, inshallah. Like inshallah. I don't feel less of a man because my painting skills aren't amazing. Yeah. Or anything. Like, I don't. I don't. It, you can't belittle me because mm. I don't mow the lawn. Do you get me? Yeah. Because I know. I can hold my own. Do you get me? Yeah. If I make income and I'm able to provide and I'm able to do X, Y, Z, that for me is more important than knowing how to fucking change a broken pipe or something like that. You get me? This is true. This is true. I was going to say one question to maybe round it off. I was thinking about this today, you know. Do you personally, in your life, Mm -hmm. know anyone who you would define as an alpha male? A true, full-on alpha male? Based on the definitions that we've given? Based on what your definition of it is? And try be as honest as you can. I would say, yeah, I would say, definitely. Do you know do you have people? In, uh, one person, two people. My three? dad. Yeah. Yeah. Are we are we speaking about family or mandem? Anyone, anyone. Yeah, I can. I could. In my head, I've obviously I'm not gonna name them, but. Really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, struggling still. Swear. So, yeah, I was struggling to think of. It's because it's it's uh. If subjective. Well, when I was thinking <laughs> subjective, just for, <laughs> for it like word in there. Yeah. I was hoping that's what you, the word you're looking for, so I can shine. Nah, again. it's when I was thinking of um, who I could think of. Every uh, yeah, all the all the people that that were going through my head, I'll always find just a few flaws mm. in whatever um, characteristic what I would yeah. define in it. So I don't think it's possible to be a perfect a complete. like. Yeah, I think you could be 
you could be close to it, innit? Yeah, yeah, but yeah. then close to it, you're basically there, innit? Yeah. Like, you can have days off. If we're saying close to it, then yeah, I know a couple. But I'm yeah. saying complete, ultimate edition. But that's, you're basically asking for someone perfect, innit? Yeah. No, obviously everyone's gonna have their flaws in it. Like some, there may be there may be someone like you you look up to a lot, like one of the mandem. Let's say for example, or like you really rate them. Like they're hench, they drive a nice car, they work a great job, they're popular with girls, yeah. they, they've got a nice fashion sense, all these things. But like maybe during debates or arguments, they get very emotional and very yeah. heated. Like obviously, like you said, no one's perfect. Like you're never gonna find the perfect ten ten in, yeah. in anything or anyone. But I feel like I could name a few people that I would consider like have a lot of alpha traits alpha traits yeah, alpha, no, alpha traits alpha you know what I think is alpha very important in, in general, um, especially given how difficult it is to answer this question is another characteristic is someone that's willing to always grow someone that could take accountability and someone that just isn't uh, what's it called that doesn't want to just stagnate and, and continue to be who they are because in, in that sense if you have that mentality you're always going to try to be like better yourself mm. I think that's like a very alpha trait as well yeah that's because it's like you can acknowledge that you're not perfect yeah. and you make mistakes but at the same time you're willing to just always strive yeah towards yeah it. i think yeah. that's the main thing yeah i think that as well you know work ethic i think is another trait yeah we yeah missed. yeah having a we strong, that last time as yeah well. having a very high work ethic or yeah, just yeah being a hard worker bare yeah. discipline. not complaining bare discipline. discipline yeah yeah what are we describing brother if you if, if you exist <laughs> mentor me please <laughs> they say they say um when it comes to achieving success mastering discipline is more like important than actually your work ethic if you can master your discipline i don't know where i've heard that from but I've i think i saw this quote somewhere as well yeah, Dundee, yeah. I think. <laughs> yeah. that's mad my <laughs> discipline is not that good i can't lie mm. um it'll get better soon because i'm always striving oh. to improve myself as a person <laughs> Gang, yeah, he's on, an man. alpha sponsor him <laughs> any <laughs> alpha brands <sponsor laughs> alpha brand sponsor me. <laughs> you get me anyone that wants to discipline him sponsor him <laughs> nah, he's dying nah. for it Just discipline tutors <laughs> <Shut up. laughs> <laughs> just made up uh bro before we close off what is your your emoji of today oh yeah yeah we didn't even do that i'm today. gonna do the same emoji i did last time yeah okay. it's the smiley face you know the little that one and yeah. then with the thumbs up or you can use the that thing yeah yeah trust cool. me so that's it comment that emoji in the comment section right now so we know you've watched today's episode mm. of course if you haven't already subscribe to our channel like the video all of that oh, also, you oh yeah if you, if you came from like my social media yeah comment the thing Thank yeah you, um, and subscribe to the thing as well. Yeah, yeah. subscribe. And if, to you're, and if you're and if you're coming across Amazing for the first time from us, please very very me. highly doubt it. Yeah, but nah, go and say that, go and check him out. You know, very please talented check me man. Out, man. Up and and any brands that want to sponsor <laughs> me, <laughs> <laughs> <Shut up>, man. <laughs>